Hello everyone, this is Bill McGurgan from SeaTech. and for the next few minutes I'd like to cover the new aspects of our new Copper 4.0 program. The program is completely updated and it revolves around the CST or the Copper Systems Trainer. Some of the attributes of the new program are the updated uh, CAT 6A RG6 coaxial cable, updated tools and instructor supplies and certification kits and we'll show you that. Uh, we get into all five systems of the smart home, uh, is how they work and how they function and their usage. Do complete installation from planning to trim out on the CST. Of course, we have standards-based cabling label activities. Students will fill out an invoice based on a customer request uh, and we give them the price list. LED lighting controls, you can see that on the bottom of the CST in a minute. PoE measurement, valuation, troubleshooting, they're actually going to measure the wattage of the PoE system. We get into wire and wireless network operation. We brought in a lot of multiple testers, meters, certifiers. Of course we'll do lightning and surge protection grounding and bonding and their requirements as a technician under the NEC. Coax systems have been updated and revamped as well to include DAS. The certification supplies on the left have been updated to include face plates, shielded jacks, and uh, the, of course the updated cable. Uh, the uh, workstations are going to have a new stripper and a new crimper to replace the three blade stripper and the coax crimper uh, from before and those fit into the workstation. There's new instructor hardware, uh, including the CST uh, and the two remote units. Uh, we have a commercial toner that we provide. Uh, digital multimeters, of course, and working with those uh, would be the banjo, which is the breakout for the, for the uh, four pair. Uh, commercial tester, and then we have our uh, outlet tester, and then, of course, uh, when it comes to pulling, we also give a pull, uh, pull measurement. Some aspects of the CST, uh, it allows us to do both new installs and retrofits, uh, the way those boxes are configured on the remote units. Of course, we're going to do coax and data, going to label our cables, test and troubleshoot, and on the bottom, uh, we'll show you the CST uh, LEDs. Uh, here's on the left is the roughed in uh, version. And on the right is the completed version where the students are going to configure the uh, cable and everything. Of course, we do cable labeling. One of the cool aspects of the CST and the remotes is the ability to do LED lighting controls over PoE, over uh, Ethernet cable. Uh, and you can see that they uh, work over the Ethernet cable and the different pairs will distinguish which colors depending on which switches are turned on. And uh, we're going to troubleshoot that uh, extensively uh, later on. What else is new? Uh, full color manuals, updated new engaging activities, uh, and your flash drive is going to be packaged with, uh, with video supports and uh, everything a teacher would need. What's not new is mode and method, still 40 hours, still three-part final exam, and we still provide job-ready skill training. So an overview of the 10 modules, safety, cabling science, four pair, commercial, coax, residential, grounding and bonding, uh, installation, network, and testing and troubleshooting. Module one has the program overview, the layout of the manuals as far as the, uh, the supports that are in the manual. It's gonna go over the certification, uh, process, uh, CECs, and of course our supports, uh, primarily our student portal. Of course we're going to get some hands-on with the workstation and the testers. I'm going to review all the hardware and uh, some of the uh, supplies that are in the program. And then of course we're going to establish safe lab procedures with safety as a tail end of one. And here's an overview of the activities in Module 1. The, uh, the bolded ones are, have the uh, video supports, and most of the time the video supports lead right into a uh, hands-on. 
module two gets into cabling science uh, and some of the processes behind the cable. Uh, Ohm's law is covered. We're going to actually measure batteries and things like that with the digital multimeter. Conductors, insulators, wire gauge is a big one from the uh, grounding wire all the way down to the, uh, uh, the size of the data cable. And uh, science of twisted pair. And it really is a science. Uh, the twist, twist rates, and uh, conductors. Cabling types and applications, you know, plenum, riser, general purpose, and uh, where it's used. Noise reduction methods, uh, there's three of them. Uh, pair twisting, shielding, and differential signaling, and we, we'll get into all that. And then, of course, we do the applications of the POE, and we'll actually calculate wattage of the individual uh, systems. We're going to cover the passive and active uh, POE systems. Uh, passive be always being on and the uh, active uh, actually requires a handshake to power remote devices and the types. Uh, the higher the type, the more wattage up to a uh, type 4 that does 100 watts. And here's the activities in uh, module 2. Uh, note that the cables changed. Now the designators are now U, UTP or U, FTP or uh, whatever designated different types of cables. Module 3 would be the old 3.3 uh, Module 4 in that we'll construct cables, work with the, uh, the acts and the testers in uh, the different configurations. Of course, we're going to cover the res res register jack standard, configuration analysis, notice the new cable types U, UTP, and S, FTP, testing and verification, uh, they're going to make their own uh, cable supply, and then we have uh, a lot of uh, Battlestar and uh, Battle Cable activities. Construction is the focus of this, and we're going to construct uh, CAT 6A patch cords, both shielded and uh, unshielded. And here's some of the and here's some of the activities in uh, Module Three. Module 4 is commercial typologies and connectivity, and we're going to go all through the locations, uh, the cabling infrastructure, and how it's all put together. Uh, consolidation at points and MUTOAs. Uh, consolidation points are part of the horizontal where a MUTOA is not, to be like a uh, large work area or desk. We're going to go through the different IDC methods, all four of them the Canadians and the Germans as well as what we typically see in the United States. Going to terminate, test 66 and 110 and we have a commercial toner. And we're going to construct a jack. Here's the act unit set up as a uh, typology in through the uh, 66 block to the demarcation, to the patch panel, to the simulated outlet. Module 4 is rich in activities, including uh, the acronym MICE, which is Mechanical Ingress Climate and Environmental uh, for some of the spaces. Module 5, coaxial cabling systems. Uh, we're going to go all through the, the uh, types of coax, RG6, RG6Q, which is what the standard recommends now. Q being quad shield. The applications, anywhere from baseband to broadband to uh, uh, DAS systems, which require uh, rather thicker cables with N-type connectors. Performance, uh, 75 ohm versus uh, 50 ohm systems. We're going to do the uh, compression with the F-type, satellites, uh, communication systems, uh, and of course we'll do distribution and uh, DAS, broadband and baseband, and there's DAS.
Okay, what you're looking at here is the uh, uh, cable modem up top, and then you have the uh, antenna, the dish, uh, baseband, uh, security cameras, uh, distribution, uh, different kinds of adapters, and then of course we have DAS systems which all require coaxial cable. The activities, of course we're going to work on the board. We have a, a six-way splitter and we're going to be testing that out and the coaxial system on the CST as well. Module 6 is residential where we actually go through the types of cables, cable grades. We do connectivity from the ISP to the outlet. Uh, we talk about the, uh, the last mile and how it can be pretty much any kind of technology from fiber to coax to uh, two pair with DSL and even ADSL. How that gets to your house, how that gets to your NID, and then finally to the outlet. We're going to do MDUs, multi-dwelling units, and the way their typology is set up. Uh, we actually have uh, outlet placement activities where the students would measure the classroom. Outlets are, should be within 12 feet uh, of un any uninterrupted wall space. There's also height requirements. We're going to go through all the smart home systems and give them a smattering of those things. And uh, of course, we're going to work with the POE system. And they're going to complete an invoice uh, as determined by a customer. As we stated earlier, we're going to go through all the smart home systems, the security, the entertainment, the networking, uh, the HVAC. Here's an example of the uh, different LED lighting systems and how they can be combined for color depending on uh, which pins are activated on the four pair. On the four pair. And then working with a customer, uh, that's our template down there that we made for all the symbologies for all the smart home systems and how to populate them, how to fill out an invoice, and of course we're going to give them a price list and they're going to go through there and uh, solve those problems and uh, do the invoice, including labor. See activities, with the last activity being them to design their own home and price it out with an installation invoice. Module 7 deals with lightning protection and grounding and bonding. So we're going to start with AC distribution, surge protection devices and mitigation strategies uh, to dissipate uh, those and that's all done with grounding uh, and bonding hardware. Lightning and surge mitigation. And then of course we're going to familiarize them with the National Electric Code. Not that they have to fix anything but they have to make sure that it's grounded correctly. Activities include the uh, polarity tester uh, and that the uh, outlets have different configurations. Uh, working with the NEC and then of course uh, grounding the board to make sure all the ground points are secure. Module 8 is where we put it all together where they do the installation of both the uh, planning, preparation, trim out of uh, the CST. We review codes and standards prior to uh, doing anything and of course uh, on job safety, fall protection, uh, ladder safety, how to work in client operating spaces, how to be a good tenant uh, and clean up after yourself, rough in, trim out, of course we're going to do that on the board and test it. Cable labeling which is a, a biggie. And of course, fire stopping. Some of the things done in trim out would be to put the face place on, snap the, uh, the jacks into the face place, and screw it all down, punch down the cables, and of course, uh, label them. And at the end, uh, we want to be able to test everything. Here's some of the activities. Module 9 is network operation and connectivity, essentially how the devices all communicate to send a message both uh, internally and out over the internet. 
uh, what the devices do, uh, how the lights work, and then the basics of uh, what a frame is and how they're transmitted through the OSI and TCP IP models, which are essentially the same, same thing, it's just one has more steps than the other. We're going to make a loopback plug, and uh, we'll show you that in a second. And then, of course, uh, the command prompt, troubleshoot, and make sure that, uh, see who's on the network, who's connected, who's not connected. And, of course, uh, also in there we have wireless. For wireless networks, a little bit about that as well. This is a cool activity to uh, demonstrate how uh, something sent uh, through the various routers to uh, its destination on the Internet you wanted to send a picture, it would be broken up to hundreds of small parts, frames, and sent various paths. And at the uh, finish line, some will get there sooner than others, uh, and some won't get there at all, and it has to be retransmitted. And that's the basis of the internet. Here's a loopback cable. Of course, you can ping a computer to check an out and back signal, but you can see here that we check, we do the, uh, uh, we tra the transmits are tied to the receives, and basically it just goes out, comes right back into the computer, verifying your NIC card. Um, when these are constructed, you have to use the banjo to make sure that you have the continuity in the right places. and the margin line activities. Uh, we do work in the command prompt and there's movies on that as well. Module 10 is going to get into the different kinds of testers, the verification, qualification, certification testers, and uh, exactly what they do uh, as far as uh, what they bring you. Certification testers, of course, are the high end, the uh, ones that would certify a network. Um, or you can use verification testers, pretty much that would be the end test in a residential environment. Uh, there's specialized testing for cabling, uh, attenuation and noise, near end crosstalk, far end crosstalk, things like that. Insertion loss, so we've categorized those into those three, uh, those three areas. And then of course the last part of it would be troubleshooting strategies. And of course we get into troubleshooting as well with the split half method. And there's the activities with uh, some of the testers that we have. Yeah. Assessment in the course is uh, 250 for the uh, module test scores. Of course we have a three-part final that counts for the other 250 for a total of 500. And thank you. This has been an overview of Copper Systems 4.0.